The problem in this video comes from a 1982 SAT exam. This math problem was so hard that no one selected the correct answer. Can you figure it out? In the following figure, circle A has one-third the radius of circle B. Circle A rolls around circle B one trip back to its starting point. How many times will circle A revolve in total? The answer choices are three halves, three, six, nine halves, and nine. Get out some pencil and paper and see if you can figure it out. Remember this was on the SAT, so it's a timed exam and the students would have had to figure it out just using pencil and paper. Here is what the test preparers thought when they made the question. If circle A rolls around a distance of three times its circumference, if you do it very carefully, you'll find that circle A will roll around three times in total. And that's what they thought the correct answer should be. But let's do a little experiment and see what actually happens if we have circle A rolling around circle B. I've made cardboard cutouts of these circles. If circle A starts at the top and I carefully roll it around circle B, after one quarter of the distance, circle A is already revolved around one time. When we go halfway around circle B, circle A is rolled around a second time. As we continue around, we'll see that by three-fourths of the distance, circle A will roll a third time. And when we complete the trip, as circle A rolls around circle B, when it completes the trip, this will be a fourth time that circle A has rolled around. So the correct answer is four. And they actually made a mistake. They did not include this as the correct answer. They forgot to take into account that circle A is revolving around circle B, and that would have added one more trip around. Let's try and solve this problem in general. Imagine having two coins of equal circumference. You would think the answer might be one, but you see that when the coin rolls around halfway, it's already rolled around one time. When it rolls around the remaining distance, it will roll around a second time. So we can solve this problem and we'll see the correct answer is that circle A will roll around n plus one times. The reason is that circle B has n times the circumference and that'll account for n times that the circle A revolves around itself. But then we will also get one more revolution because circle A is also revolving around the center of circle B. So the correct answer is n plus 1. It's a pretty interesting problem. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalker on social media. And if you like the video, please check out my books. I've provided links in the video description. Thanks for watching.